what's up guys i hope everyone's doing well tyler here thought i'd share a quick lesson on a, a fill that i find myself playing a lot uh it's that last thing i just played there for you that kind of aggressive fast fill between the open kind of swashy really mushy hi-hat feel semi-closed semi-open and the snare drum and some tom occasionally for good measure I really like this fill. It works great in like a fusion setting. Uh, and part of the reason I think it's such an effective fill is because of the kind of suspension that it creates for the listener uh, or suspense, you might say. Uh, the reason for that, I feel, is that it's so open. It's, it's in the higher register of the drum set uh, with the open hi-hats and the, the tuned up snare drum. And there's not a lot of kick. So it kind of sounds like a floaty, really hectic uh, musical canvas, if you will. Um, there's not a lot of punctuation besides the flowy, open, ringing out hi-hat. And so it kind of creates this tension where the listener's waiting for the crash or the kick drum, the downbeat, waiting for the fill to resolve into a low-end kind of uh, resolution. So... I thought I'd share it with you. It's really easy in terms of the sticking. Uh, it's just a matter of getting comfortable with this kind of move between the left hand and the open hi-hat. So what is the fill? So there's a few variations on it that I like to play, but it's a really basic fill. So it's mostly single strokes and then a pair diddle diddle. So I'll play often like eight single strokes. So I'll do right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And then a pair diddle diddle, right, left, right, right, left, left. And the reason this sounds cool is because we're accenting the first note on the right, right hand sticking of the single stroke of each four, the beginning of each four notes. And because we're hitting the second of all of the single strokes on the open hi-hat, we kind of get this aggressive in your face uh, dynamic at the very beginning of the fill. And then it's softer down on the snare for the remaining two notes and then back to the aggressive feel for the single stroke, uh, the second grouping of four. So this is what, uh, what the first part sounds like before we incorporate the pair diddle diddle. So that's kind of like a gallopy, horse, horsey sounding thing. So then we incorporate the pair diddle diddle, and it's literally the same in terms of the first two notes. Big accent on the right hand, accent on the left hand with the open hi-hat, and then the diddles are played on the snare. So uh, this is what that sounds like. Para diddle diddle. So, put together two groupings of, of four single strokes and then a pair to the little sounds like this. Sorry about that. So that's what it sounds like. It's pretty simple. Uh, but to make it more interesting, I like to either extend the single stroke sequence by adding another group of four, or extend the paradiddle sequence by doing two paradiddle diddles instead of one. So let's do uh, two sequences of uh, four single strokes and then two paradiddle diddles with the same orchestration, same sticking. And then you just kind of 
roll with it. So you might switch the first uh, single stroke roll to the floor tom. So you might do it like this. So that's one way to change it up. What you want to do though is you want to really feel like you're building the tension with it. So dynamics are very important. That's the key. Sorry, that's the key attention to the detail, which in this case is the dynamics and the swooshiness of the hi-hat and the cracking sound of the snare, really paying attention to those dy dynamics and thinking of the wave and the looseness and the fluidity that you want to manifest in your playing. So it's a super simple lick in terms of the sticking, but it really works to create tension and suspense in the listener. And it works in like a fusion setting really well. Um, I'm just going to kind of jam with it for a few minutes. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I've been getting a lot of new subscribers lately, so I appreciate you very much. If I had gifts for you all, I would give them to you. I would bestow them upon you. But alas, I do not have gifts at this current time that I can give and bequeath to all of you. Nevertheless, I very much appreciate your patronage your kindness to me and yeah i have more videos coming soon i hope this was helpful to you i hope it's a lick you feel like you can incorporate into your playing and i hope you guys have a great night so check it out i'm gonna play it in some groove setting haha -ha, yay yes woohoo yes hi